All right, now we're going to go back to that first photo that we were working on. It's on the canvas called Den. Here we are. Now I want to point out one thing. When you change canvases, make sure to highlight layer 2, the layer with your design, because the computer won't know which layer to work on. So make sure that that layer 2 is highlighted. I want to add a hard treatment to this design. So let me zoom in so I can see the window a little bit better. There. Now I'm going to go into the design library over here on the left and I'll go into the hard treatments category. And I think I'll pick out a wood blind. And I'm going to choose this one. Now remember, if you ever see the gold buttons here in the preview window, it's always a good idea to click on them to see what else you have associated with this design. And as you can see, I've got two blinds here. One is a longer one, and one is a shorter one. And I think I want to go with the shorter one. I'll delete this. And I'll go ahead and place this on my window. Now, I really don't have to be that careful about how I resize this because it's actually going to be hidden behind my drapery treatment. So, that looks pretty good. Now, there is a problem here. It's sitting on top of the panels. We're going to use the order commands up here again to position that blind in place. Right now it's sitting on the top. I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to send that wood blind all the way to the back. Now watch what happens when I click on this icon. There, it's actually disappeared. You can see it's still highlighted. It's actually behind the photo at this point. Well, we want it in front of the photo but behind the panels. So I'm going to click on this icon here and I'm going to bring it forward. Watch this. There, now it's perfectly in place. If you have a lot of components on your canvas and you need to use these order commands, you might have to click on one of these icons repeatedly because as you drag a component onto the canvas, the computer remembers kind of the position that it's in, in the queue. So if you have 20 objects on your canvas, the computer numbers them in order. And so if you have to move a component, maybe behind another component or in front of it, you might have to click on these icons multiple times before you actually see that component in the exact position that you want. Now the last thing I want to do with this photo is I want to add a little color or a little texture to that wood blind. And down here in our swatch library we have this category called textures. And we have these wood textures here. I'm going to add this mahogany wood texture. My wood blind is highlighted on my canvas, so now I can just double click. There. And you can see my wood blind has been filled with the wood texture. And that looks really nice.